Hey guys, it's Dragonforce 101 here, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to hack the Wii and install the Homebrew channel. So first of all, what we're going to need is we're going to need a Wii, of course, and it's going to need to be running the system version. Let's see, we go in here. We're going to need to be running system version 4.3, if it loads up. Version 4.3e, as you can see in the top there. It can be running J, K, or another one. I can't remember. It has to be 4.3. You're also going to need an SD card with at least 500k of space. It's got 256 megs, so that's great. Um, and you're going to need a computer to copy everything over. So first of all, all we're going to do is we're going to go onto the Wii and we're going to get its MAC address. So now to Wii settings. So the Wii has an unreasonable load time. Internet console information and you'll get your MAC address. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the computer and we're going to enter this into it. Okay, so on your computer you're going to put your SD card in your in your computer. If you don't have an SD card slot, get an adapter for USB. It should pop up. It doesn't matter. So what we're going to do is on your Wii you should have the MAC address. Um, I don't mind if you guys see my MAC address, it's not really that important. So just put in yours. Whoops, wrong number. And then put in your last number. And then you've got to enter your capture. Now the capture code doesn't really matter. S H E loop com tainer. Then it doesn't matter, put the red wire or the blue wire. Oh yeah, sorry, I just forgot to tell you. On your computer the address is please.hackme dot com of course links to that in the description and you're just going to save your zip file to the SD card what you need to do then is you're going to open your SD card in Windows Explorer I'm going to right click on it and you're going to extract here um, use WinRAR or not or just use um, Windows um, normal zip and then copy it so it should look like this in my computer double click on your thing and you should have these three make sure that it's like this it's not in a folder just like that right so then what we're gonna do gonna close that and we're gonna remove our stick and we're gonna go put this in the Wii okay so now that it's in the um now that your thing is all ready, we're just going to insert the SD card into the Wii. Fit it in. Okay, so once your SD card is in the Wii, you're just going to exit back to the home menu. I need to head over to the Wii Messages Center. Now you should have a new letter here. Now this letter, as soon as you click on it, will hack your Wii. So, if everybody's ready, you can hit it. Okay, you should get um, a code screen. It won't be graphical. It'll just be this. Um, this is the license warning. I'm just gonna wait until it asks you to hit one. Then you can proceed to the next step. It does take about um, 10 seconds before this happens. Hmm. Here we go, press 1 to continue. Right, so what we want to do is we want to install the Homebrew channel, so we're just going to hit. Make sure your controller is connected and hit A. And you want to install the Homebrew channel. Hit A, and yes, continue. shouldn't take too long and you should see green success hit ok if you want boot me which is backups and stuff what you're going to do is you're going to install boot me hit A yes continue and you're going to hit yes continue again continue 
turn to the main menu, and exit. And that should be it. Your Wii should be hacked on System 4.3. Here we go. We're at the Homebrew channel. Um, if your Wii's connected to the internet, the little thing will flash in the bottom right. Now, the Homebrew channel will display all your apps that you've got installed. Currently, I don't have any because there's none of my SD card. Um, um, and I'll just show you how to get apps on that in just a second. So we're just going to exit the system menu. And once that's loaded, we're just going to go and remove the SD card. I'm just going to put this in the computer. Right, so now on your computer, you're just going to end, um, uh, put in your SD card and you're going to head over to webrew.org forward slash wiki forward slash list of homebrew applications. Link in the description as always. Um, we're just going to test out an app. So, what should we have? How about... Hmm, so many. Let's just try SD Explorer. That's a pretty basic thing. going to go over there and you're just going to hit download. Oh. Keep in mind, guys, lots of these links are broken because lots of them are not still supported because the Wii is no longer supported by Nintendo. So, let's try just a random one, Homebrew Browser. That's quite good because it has loads of Homebrew on it, obviously. Just going to hit Download, and it should download it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder on my SD card, and it's going to be called Apps. Make sure it has to be called Apps, just spelled like that. Save it. Then you're going to go into it, and go into it, and in apps, you're going to right click, and you're going to click extract files. Now it should take a while because these sometimes are quite big. Now in Homebrew Browser, here we go. Sorry, I did that totally wrong. Put that into WeHack. And then, where is it? Homebrew browser, drag it into apps. You'll probably find a quicker way of doing this than I did. Go into apps and delete these two. And so you should just have homebrew browser, and inside it, it should have three things boot.doll, boot.doll, which is just the executable file, icon.png, and loop.mod. That is the background, obviously. And you're just going to remove your SD card. And we're just going to head over to the Wii again. Okay, and now we're just going to insert the SD card into the Wii. The right way this time. Wait till it's detected by the Wii. And just going to grab your controller. And you're going to open the Homebrew channel. It's got some awesome cheesy music. Just going to hit the star, as you would with any game. Although you may be tempted to stay on that loading screen for a couple of hours. And look, here we go. It's detected this. These apps will only show up when they're plugged into the Wii in the SD card. All you have to do is hit it, and it'll tell you what it's about. Uh, the Homebrew browser allows you to download the latest Homebrew applications all through the Wii. Blah, blah, blah. All you need to do is keep your SD card in there. So you really need to do is just have a SD card shoved in there for like ever, and just have all this. Um, yep, so just all you're going to do is going to hit load load it and it does take a while to start up waiting for a network to initialize and stuff it'll do all this just the first time don't worry and the rest of the times it'll just load up straight um, so what it's going to do is it's going to download the um, zip files I'll just skip past that for now but we don't want that so we're just going to wait and it's just going to go this horrible screen then we're in Awesome. So, I'm just going to close it. Um, I would recommend waiting for it to finish that unzipping thing because that's quite um, necessary for it to get icons like this. But it'll do it one by one later if it needs to. So, you've got everything here. Loads of um, games, utilities, stuff, stuff that weren't on the list of homebrew applications. Um, all you do is just hit them, hit download, and it'll download them for you quite fast. It will then go in and extract them. Um, usually files aren't too big like this, will just take a couple seconds to extract. Like this. And after it's installed, all you have to do is click that to the Homebrew browser. Homebrew menu, sorry. And um, 
it should um, be able to launch from there. So hit home, return to loader. It'll crash out. Lots of the homebrew apps just do that. They crash out back to the homebrew. They don't fade out. But here we go. EMG, Endless Maze Game. So you go hit load. I don't have much time left in this video. So that's what you do. Hit it, hit load. Lots of the games are just D-pad operated. Um, note some things will require you having um, a GameCube controller. And you can pick those up at stores for about £10. Um, they're necessary for stuff um, that don't have support for these. Because that's kind of hard to code in. And also... In BootMe, which is the thing I installed earlier, um, that doesn't have Wii um, button support, it doesn't have any button support at all. You use the two buttons on the Wii, the only two physical buttons apart from eject. It is, um, it's power to move around and hit reset to choose something. Um, you can't use a remote, so that's what you do. So guys, that is how to hack your Wii and, and install the Homebrew channel and anything you want, really on system menu 4.3. Um, Make sure to um, yeah, make sure to like this. Make sure to comment and make sure to subscribe. If you have any problems, you can contact me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus. So thanks very much, guys, for watching.